Hey guys, it's your girl Shalanda back today with another video. In today's video, we're going to be discussing summer pandemic EBT. Now guys, we all know this is nothing new, right? Last month, the USDA announced a new effort where they would feed millions of children for the summer of 2021 and 2022. Now this move is going to expand normal pandemic EBT that you would get through the school year, except it's going to give 90 days over the summer and give you an extra $375 in your pocket for most states. We'll get to that. So if you want to know how you can get this 375, you already know what to do. Stay tuned. Your girl's got you covered. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, hi, hello, hey, friend. My name is Shalay, and here on this channel, we discuss shopping, saving, and everything in between. I would love to have you a part of my internet family. Super easy. Click the big old red subscribe button down below when you're in, just like that and while you're at it go ahead and give me a like because you enjoy me creating content like this and your girl is in her office we're gonna have a whole little tour okay but don't forget if you are an ebt recipient to go ahead and sign up for amazon prime at a reduced price for only 5.99 you can click the link in the description box and if you don't want to commit to it go ahead and try it out 30 days free on your girl as well as pick up my ebook now let's go ahead and jump into this money honey because that's what y'all want to know anyway we all know that pandemic ebt started last year during the pandemic it started about march 2020 and that's because you know schools were shut down due to the pandemic this march we have a new president and he decided to expand the pandemic ebt program and his american rescue plan now guys it doesn't matter if your child is attending a school and they receive free or reduced lunch then they qualify for a pandemic ebt as long as the school is participating in the national school lunch program this includes public schools, private schools, magnet schools, charter schools. The school must be enrolled in the National School Lunch Program. Now, the reason why I'm discussing this is because a lot of states are about to start issuing funds for this summer. So, for example, Texas wants to ensure that over the summer between June and August that families that need to apply will receive a notification from their school district by June 2nd. Now on there, the letter will actually include the eligibility information, how to access the information, and the summer period shall be no more than 90 calendar days during which there is a public health emergency declaration for the state. So now in Texas, if you are already enrolled in this program, you're familiar with Pandemic EBT and you received your card, no worries, okay, you are good to go. But if you have not received it, or maybe you're gonna be part of the new, you know, like you the new kid on the block, your child is under six, and this is gonna be the first time you receive it, you need to go ahead and fill out your application. Now, the application will be open from June 2nd through August 13th, and they're gonna be processed in the orders that they are received, okay? So if you need to fill out the application, go ahead and do it. If you've already been receiving Pandemic EBT, honey, you don't have to worry, okay? You're gonna still get yours, but for a new families that process their applications you will actually get a new card in the mail now states are not required to actually participate in the summer pandemic ebt program but the usda is encouraging them to apply for the extension of benefits so you're like girl well how much they gonna get how much we gonna get chalet so all states will get 375 dollars except for alaska you'll get 604 dollars and then like our puerto rican hawaiian brothers and stuff you're gonna get 438 $8. Now, while summer pandemic EBT is good, right? There's other food options that are going on during the summer. In fact, you can participate in all of these options. Now, you know, I'm like, girl, get this, get that, get everything, honey. If they give it to you, take it. And one of the options that they have is food boxes or summer meal programs. Now, a lot of local organizations and school districts are gearing up to meet the needs of the community. Public schools are providing meals that include breakfast and lunch to all children 18 or younger, and you don't even have to be enrolled in the school. All you have to do is check with each school in your district for the designated times on when they're going to offer breakfast and lunch. And guys, let me tell you, if you're unable to even attend or take your child to the school, some districts are having food box or backpacks being delivered with meals each child can receive up to five breakfasts and five lunches in one week. 
Now, some districts have been actually sending school buses to the community that will deliver those meals and you would either just need like something to identify your child. Maybe that's a school ID or just showing that you are their parent or guardian, but someone can actually pick up the meals for that. So, I mean, even though we get 375 on Pandemic EBT, like why not go ahead and get those lunch meals provided as well? Schedule those, get the book pack, the backpacks as well. So, you know, you wanna capitalize on every single thing. But not only are we just talking about the local organizations, honey, we got more and we're talking about WIC, right? With WIC, we have the WIC Fruit and Vegetable Voucher. Now, the American Rescue Plan Act authorized women, infant, and children agencies to enhance benefits for a period of four months. We've talked about this in some of my EBT videos where the vouchers that used to range from $9 to $11 Honey, you get $35 now per participant, and you can still get this with the summer pandemic EBT. Now, WIC vegetable and fruit vouchers, they're also known as a cash value benefit that is actually aimed at improving the dietary quality of WIC participants, reducing like childhood obesity. Like they try to make you eat some fruits and vegetables, mama. You know, anything but fried food, okay? So each WIC department now can increase beginning from May 31st through August 31st or from June 1st through September 30th. It's only a period of four months for children between the ages of one and four. And remember, it is $35 per participant as well. So, I mean, get that money over there too. Also, we have the emergency allotment maximum until September 30th. Now, households are already receiving the maximum SNAP benefits on there. You've been getting it all pandemic long, but as of right now, if your maximum benefit is not at least $95 or more, they're giving you the $95. So you don't have to take any action to get this. It will be issued directly to you on your EBT cards. They're checking their card on the regular and they notice that different types of amounts are being put on their cards throughout the month. So even though I'm giving you the date of the emergency allotment, some people were getting $61 for hybrid, Students, some people were getting $95. So the emergency allotment does go until 90, until the $95 will last until September 30th as well. And last but definitely not least, we have the Double Up program, where if you decide to use your EBT card at a farmer's market, you get double the price. So if you spend $20 at a farmer's market on fruits and vegetables, you actually can redeem for up to $40. Now guys, I think all these programs are phenomenal, especially when used in conjunction with each other. Meaning if you're gonna get the $375 for Pandemic EBT, why not go ahead and sign up for the backpack program or the meals program? And that way your child can eat it over the summer. You have one year to use your pandemic EBT benefits before they expire. And as of right now, we don't know what the new school year may bring. We don't know if pandemic EBT is going to go on into 21 or 22 or to the end of December 31st. We have no idea. And with a lot of things that are opening back up, you know, it's better to be safe than sorrow. Why not go ahead and put that $375 away, you know, that way it gets you through the next half of the year versus, you know, spending it all at once. But who am I, right, girl? I don't have no kids. I'm just saying I want you to eat better tonight, okay, over the summer. But let me know, what do you think about the programs? Did you know all this was going on? As well as have you signed up for Amazon Prime? Definitely go ahead and try it out below as well as purchase my ebook. And let me know what other type of videos would you like to see from me? I enjoy finding these resources videos. And let me know also when you actually receive your pandemic EBT card over the summer or when the money hits your account, if you don't mind. That way we can help somebody else out. So that's all I have, guys. As always, please like, comment, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys. Oh, we're going to eat good. <laughs> okay. We are eating better tonight, okay? I'm just saying. Let me go ahead and see if I can find one of my nieces or nephews. I'm just joking. Bye, y'all.